Uh, today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, last episode, we went ahead and got ourselves locked into a monastery and we're a monk now. Well, we're trying to become a monk, but we're in this place trying to uncover uh, who the bandit is, the undercover like bandit. We know who it is now, and I didn't like the way I went about doing the mission. So we're going to try to see if we can do it a little bit cleaner. I, I almost had it, guys. I literally almost had it, uh, but I ended up getting caught on my way out. So we're going to try to do it again a little bit cleaner, get the dice, get out of there. And um, I don't know. I might, I might just kidnap the dude and bring him uh bring his ass out of the uh out of the monastery but i don't know we'll have to see we'll have to see how this goes but how is everybody doing <clears throat> convince him that's the one thing we have not done yet. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely uh, one thing we haven't done yet was talk to him about it. So maybe we'll maybe we'll go one more day in the monastery. Um, we'll talk to him about it. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll we'll spend one more day. We'll try to speak with him and. Uh, See if we cannot Charles convince him. King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor had a long and successful. <laughs> yeah, we're in. We're here. Well, we're already in. So what? What I did was is I just went over and snapped his or choked him out, and then I brought him down into the church area and snapped his neck, and. uh looted him but well you know what uh what is what time do we gotta wake up so let me try to not get any lashings this time around I th so let me see what time i gotta wake up in the morning inventory everyday labors 3 a.m start of day <clears throat> 4 a.m morning prayer okay All right, so yeah, here we go. Sleep to three a.m. We're gonna we're gonna today's our first day living as a legitimate monk. We're gonna try to do things the right way. <clears throat> there it is, that three a.m. wake up call. Like, who the hell wakes up at three a.m.? See, all these guys are still asleep. Well, it looks like all of the um, actual monks are awake. <laughs> For the most, well, there's a couple of guys. There's a bunch of them still asleep. All right. All right, so we'll wait an hour. Okay, and morning prayer is like long as shit i'm pretty sure let me see here so we gotta be a morning prayer for till six who the hell prays for two hours Supposed to be eating breakfast now. Probably gonna catch a lashing for this. <clears throat> and the fear of hell and the glory of life everlasting. 
As soon as anything has been ordered by the superior, receive it as a divine command and cannot suffer any delay. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty over the actual monk life, you know what I mean? It's pretty... It's pretty tough. It's very strict. You know what I mean? Like, eat, work, sleep. That's it. And it's not even like work is fun. We just eat slop all day. And far from gaining a reward for such work as this, he will incur the punishment due to murmurers unless he amends and makes satisfaction. The rule of Saint Ben. All right, let me see here. Humility. The first degree of humility is obedience without delay. This is the virtue of those who hold nothing dearer to them than Christ. Who, Where is of holy service, they are professed. And the fear of Where is uh life everlasting? As soon as anything has been ordered by the superior, receive it as a divine command. He's not even in here. There's the brother that's the that's actually the guy we're looking for, and he's not even in here. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta be up in uh at work by eight o'clock. Superiors is given to God. For if the disciple obeys with an ill will and murmurs, not necessarily with Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll skip time. Eight o'clock, be at work. That food looking quality. Hey, it's, that, it's got good quality free food, you know? So why don't I ever get a chance to work with any of the other novice, man? That's the downside. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get their attention right now, not without catching a whooping. And I'm on, like, my actual last straw. So let, let's uh, see what we got to do for work. Praise be to Christ, brother. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. Concoct two bucks blood potions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. So he wants me to do the same ones as uh, last time? The bucks, whatever. Bucks blood. Okay, so what was this one again? Uh, it was oil, right? So to get trapped in here, you end like it, it's part of a quest. Um, to like convince the bandits that we want to be a part of them, they sent us in here to assassinate. One of their old members who has escaped inside of the church. Um, so that's why we're in here. Okay, so grind the St. John's. Grind St. John's. Drop that in the comfrey in the, in the thing. Chris, thank you so much for the membership, brother. Welcome. All right, so we'll drop the St. John's Worth in there. Been ground up. Go ahead and grab the Comfrey. Drop that in there. I think one turn, right? 
Bo boil for one turn. Let cool and drop the dandelion in. Grab this, and that should be it. All right, so there we go. We got the Buxbud potions. Peace be with you, brother. What is it, brother? I finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. Okay. What would you like? Is there anything I could help with? You know, there is. Perhaps you've heard that Abbot Peter is gravely ill. I'm interested in medicine, and I know there's a cure for the abbot's ailment. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. What do you say? You can count on my help. What do you need me to do? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. Now you know, most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses, but also the medicine to cure them, then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Okay, so how the hell am I supposed to get that? Where can I find it? In the library, there's a large cabinet with a lock on it. The forbidden books are inside. You'll easily recognize what you're looking for. The cover has not only a Latin inscription, but also Saracen letters. Bring it to me, but leave the other books there. No one will notice if one book disappears, but if more were to vanish, someone would certainly begin to look into it, which is exactly what we don't want. Um, why can't you do it yourself? Because I am one of the highest ranking monks here, and one day I'd like to become abbot. Can you imagine me crawling around in the black of night searching for a forbidden book? You could just ask for it. Do you honestly think I haven't tried? Unfortunately, Librarian Cyril is a stubborn ass. Is there anything you can tell me that would help? There's a key to the cabinet in the prior's chambers. The librarian should have another one, or you can acquire some lockpicks. But I can't tell you where or how. Perhaps Brother Solarius could help. I'm ready. One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, you'll need to go at night. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. They say Brother Solarius understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to make Peter's medicine. We'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. <clears throat> so, I don't know where the prior's chambers are. See, I'm done with work. But I still can't, like, walk around. Like, it's so dumb. I get access to the library in about an hour, but I don't know where the prior's chambers are. You know, you'd think once you're done with your work, you could move around a little free, you know what I mean?
Where's the stick, dude? There he is. I think I'm stuck in here for at least another, yeah, like another three hours, man. So I, I think library is at noon. Yeah. So we're from here to eight to noon. Praise be to Christ, brother. And this guy can't even get the damn... Can't even get the lockpicks off him because I don't have enough money. Dude right there patrolling the kitchen. We can we can steal everything we need to steal at night. That's not an issue. But I just feel like we're wait, we we waste so much time during the day. We got about an hour. <clears throat> And I don't think I share any of the. I don't think I share any of the day with that other guy. I don't think he see me. All right, so we'll wait an hour. Library. Now, I did really decent on my last day in the library. Ah, uh, Gregor, talk to me. All right, let's see. Is there any way I can convince this dude to give me a book? I've heard there are some forbidden books locked up in the library. That's correct. They're here, safely hidden away from anyone who might be tempted to read them. Could a book be prohibited by mistake? Maybe a good book or a useful one? No errors are made. Every book on the prohibited list is there for a reason. Who am I to doubt the wisdom of Mother Church? What if I just wanted to take a peek? Could I? You could not. They are libri prohibiti. Welcome to the family. Lucifer, thank you so much for the, the membership. Welcome to the family, brother. I appreciate it. I, although I see no reason why he or I would ever want to read them. Not even if I were to beg or promise a favor in return? <clears throat> Unfortunately not. Those books were forbidden for a reason. Not even all the brothers have access to them. Never mind novices like you. Lucifer, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. How does a book get on the forbidden list? Forbidden works are full of heresy and blasphemy and witchcraft. If you ask me, we should burn them immediately, not archive them. I don't need to hear anything else. I found a few pages of the torn up book, but I still don't have them all. Wonderful. Keep looking then. I'm sure you can find the rest. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. Okay.
Probably so wrong. Shave his little swirly bit while he sleeps. <laughs> KB, how you doing, brother? I don't know what any of that means either. We probably got it wrong. I was just picking random ones that I thought might be right. I I did the same thing last time. I got I got a hundred percent somehow. He's, he's you gonna... call that a copy? You've completely ruined the parchment with your scribbling. I'll beat your ass, dude. Right here. Talk to me like that, dude. Okay. You see, is there... <clears throat> if I could sneak back downstairs. The normal monk show, they get them so free. Bell Place, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. I don't got my mace, though. The only thing I got is these hands. It was about to be nap time for him. About to be nap time for him, too, if he fucks with me. Dude, what the hell, man? None of the... None of the other... um Dudes are working in here. They all just work outside, man. Like, what the hell? How do they get outside work duty? I believe four o'clock is prayer. They've been yo, I'm on like day two though. I should definitely have some some rank, some pull. Pass a little bit more time. Man, I can't even get eyes on this dude. It's crazy. I think I gotta stop it legit at four o'clock. There we go. Go to the church and pray.
So everybody should be heading to prayer. There's Jodak, Lucas. Where is he at, yo? He he's must be doing his own thing, because I haven't seen this dude at all. sitting here like, yo, where the hell is the guy? You know what I mean? I haven't even seen him. I'm not neglecting my schedule, dude. I'm going to church right now, dude. Oh, is this him? Nope, I don't think that is. Oh, I think that's him right there. Yep, there he is. What would you like? All right. Um. I need to make a confession. I'm no priest, but tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? Someone whose job it is to investigate the case, find the perpetrators and make sure they get the punishment they deserve. Punishment? Do you intend to punish them here, in the monastery? I don't know yet. I'm still just on their trail. Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. And all the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices. But still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. And you're right that it could be any one of them. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy worm. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous rat who'd do anything to get in someone's good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof since chills up my spine. I don't think it was him. But please, don't tell a soul what we've been talking about. Don't fret, my friend. Your secrets are locked inside my lips. I know you're pious. The man I've been looking for. So you're finally sure? Tell me, Gregor, or Carl, or whatever your true name is. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, at least you're prepared to think and not just play bloodhound for a pack of nobodies. And I'm glad you have your doubts. I don't want to be like the people I'm looking for. If I have to kill, it should be for a reason, not because I enjoy it. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us, but we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit, and I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen, but I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit, but I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery, I've had plenty of time to think things over. But then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people. And I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace. And no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want.
What if I wanted a different option? You could kill another novice, I suppose. If news of the murder got out from the monastery, my former friends might believe I'm dead. But I'm offering you a solution that doesn't require any killing. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. I mean, his way sounds like wicked, wicked in depth. Like, where the hell are we going to get blood from? You know what I mean? I'm thinking maybe I, I, I like I like the idea of just not like knocking his ass out and carrying him out and bringing him to Sir Sir Radzik. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. Kill I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery and some blood to make the tracks. Okay. And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it. All the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day, take it before anyone notices it's even come. Dude, that sounds way too hard, bro. What are you going to do? I need to get ready for a long journey. Prepare supplies. Get some normal clothing somehow. That sort of thing. You can escape in that habit, but I need to vanish as fast as I can. What do I need the keys to the monastery for? How else will we get out? This place is practically a prison. Getting the keys won't be easy. I know, but Brother Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. If you know how to use them, they'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. He carries them with him at all times. They both sound hard to me. But needs must. I already know where there's a set of keys. All right, that's everything I need to know. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor... Thank you. Like, I gotta sneak into the kitchen and add blood to the list for food, right? Yeah, I feel like doing this shit at prayer would be like the best time. So I feel like everybody's prays, right? Except those guys. All right, and I believe dinner's at six o'clock. I looked behind this altar. I didn't see anything back here. Oh, shit. Right there. Look at that. Peace be with you, brother. Oh, maybe we'll just stay in here. Now, now we got a lockpick. Life's good. Zach, how you doing, brother? All right. <clears throat> you know, prison breaks take time. You know what I mean? And proper planning. We're, we're just kind of taking our time. Living that good life now. So I got to find my way into the kitchen and uh, add some shit to the list there.
let Noneb be said rather early at the middle of the eighth hour and let them again do what work has to be done until Vespers. Weak or sickly brethren should be... Bad Wolf, we're living that good life. We're living... Nature has to keep them from idleness and at the same time... Not be I wonder how long you can stay in here. Like, I wonder how long, like, players have been, like, legitimately stuck in this damn monastery just not knowing who Pius is. Just spending like weeks. When anyone receives the name of Abbot, he ought to govern his disciples with a twofold teaching. We're eating that blood soup. He should show them all that is good and holy by his deeds, even more than by his words. Expounding the Lord's commandments in words to the intelligent among Any of you guys in chat want to put how long you spent in this place to find Pius? Like, what's the longest? The abbot should always remember what he is and what he is called. And should know that to whom more is to know. Alright, so we're going to have free time now for like an hour, two hours. Wait until the next. Wait until the blood arrives next day. Okay. Very beginning of the ill doing by stripes and other bodily punishments. Knowing that it is written, the fool is not corrected with words. There it is. And again, beat your son with the rod, and you will deliver his soul. One IRL week, Jesus. What do you mean I'm neglecting my daily schedule? It's up to me when I leave dinner, I thought. It's free time, I, I thought. I mean, we're just waiting for tomorrow for the blood to show up. We've got to wake up a little early. So I'm going to try to wake up before 3. We'll wake up at 2. Um, I wonder what time the blood gets delivered. So we'll sleep till 2 in the morning. We'll wake up an hour before everybody else. I didn't, I didn't suspect him at all either. Um, the only reason why I even found out it was him was because I snapped his neck and he had the dice on him. That was it. Okay, let's go see. If we can get our hands on this blood. Blood. Don't think they ordered it yet.
Actually, I can't fucking see. Just trying to sneak around here without. I, I need a light. Got the lock pick, but I think in or in order to break into this cabinet, we need a. Yeah, it's fucking very hard, dude. I can't. It... Or is it not in there? Is it in here? Fucking broke my lockpick, dude. Come on. Well, that didn't last very long. Yeah, what time is it? So it's about to be 3 o'clock now. Morning prayer will be at 4. No, it does save when you sleep. Okay, so right before morning prayer is about to start. We can go peek into the kitchen again. Okay, so I could try to get the blood while everybody's in prayer. So we'll we'll get a chance to go in the kitchen uh, during breakfast time. Waiting for the game to tell me it's okay to leave. There we go. So while these dudes are slow walking, come on, move, move, move. Zoom ahead. There it is. At the blood. So I got the keys, I got the blood. What else do we need? Right, we just gotta talk to Antonius. See if we can catch him on the way into breakfast. 
Actually, I think we need to eat, though. Now we're okay. Lucas. Jodak. Antonius. What's up, brother? What do you desire, brother Gregor? I have everything we need for the escape. Excellent. Straight out of Vespers, we'll meet in the dormitory. We'll have to get it all done before the monks have finished dinner. What exactly is your plan? And why can't we do it at night? We're going to prepare a little riddle they'll never solve. And why at mealtime? Because we need the dormitory as well as the church to be empty. Then at night we'll escape. Do you follow? Okay. Take everything with you and don't forget the keys. Got him. Once evening mass ends, I'll be in the dormitory. Okay. So we gotta we gotta go through the day. <clears throat> this is our last day, guys. This is our last day, Costa. Thank you so much for the uh, for the sub. I appreciate it. This is our last day as a monk. It's not bad once you learn how to navigate the place a little bit. Knowing that it is written, the fool is not corrected with words. Nah, Bad Wolf, this is our last day. Everything's everything's set. Um, After evening prayer, instead of going to dinner, we're going to go up to the dorm. And then we're going to escape in the middle of the night. To that end, we think that the times for each may be prescribed as follows. From Easter until the calends of October. So what? Uh, I believe I have class, or I start work at eight, right? At whatever is Should be assigned a task or craft of such a nature as to keep them from idleness. Drive them away with excessive All right, so we just got to do our daily work. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. Oops. What troubles you? I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. Today's task, two cockerel potions. Mm, something Once new. you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Okay, so I haven't done cockerel potions yet. We we did the other ones last time. They weren't too bad. The bl buck's blood is pretty straightforward. All right, let me see here. Cockerel potions... There we go. So we need the two mint, one valerian. So we got to grind both mint, boil mint for one turn, add valerian, boil for two turns, and then distill. Ooh, okay. So we need spirits. Okay, two things of mint. Whoops. Put the mint in there. Grab another thing of mint. Two things of mint, we'll grind that up. This game has probably the most in-depth alchemy system I've ever seen in any game before. Hands down. Alright. Now I believe we boil that for one turn. Right. And then... Add Valerian and boil for two more turns.
All right, now we distill it. Did we get it? Brewed Cockroach Potion. Awesome. Uh, so that I only got one that time. So I got to do. We got to do that one more time. When I did the Bucks Blood, I got two for each craft. Uh, that one we only got one, so it is what it is. Can I? Oh, um, spirits. See if I remember how to do this. So boil for two more turns and then distill. You can stack, but well, I know if I pull it once, I guarantee myself to, uh, it only shit. Why can't I bellow it? So I can put that back. Boil one more time. I need a. There we go. I was like, dude, I need to boil one more time. Now we'll grab the file. Frankie, thank you so much for the sub. And then we will distill this. There we go. Perfect. So I got the two potions done. No problem. Talk to me, brother. I finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. Make rocks. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Jabs, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Right after evening mass, meet with Pius in the dorm. So we got to go ahead and skip some time up until noon. Then we got to... Uh... We got to go work in the library. See if we can piss this dude off again. What would you like? I've heard about Avicenna's book of medicine. Could I see it? 
Who told you about that? Of course you can't. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. This dude does not mess around, man. He's, he's pretty... He's all about his duties. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. All right, let's go mess this up again. Sure. Looks good to me. Yeah, I can't even get in there. I had one lock pick and I broke it. Hey, Swanee, good night, brother. Get that good sleep, all right, man? Can you read at all? I've never seen so many mistakes. What? Bro, if I ever see you outside of this place, on sight, bro. On sight. So we got, we got prayer at four, and this is it, guys. Right after prayer. I got this monk life down, guys. I got the monk life down. All right, so prayer is till six. Okay, let's head upstairs. This is it. Time to make our move. Praise be to God. For a moment there, I was worried you weren't coming. Give me that blood. This is the exact spot where you pushed me off the gallery. Are we gonna go eat though? Cause I'm I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Well, hungry man, missing out on that on that that grub, that good free grub, man. Tell you one thing about here, they they feed you good. And here's where you dragged my lifeless body. Can't we just leave right now, dude? We got the key, bro. Freedom! Uh. 
Let me out. We better stop fucking playing with me, stairs. Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. I need I need the dice, dude. Is he gonna give me the dice? I was glad to help. I did what I needed to do and no one got killed. I needed Now, now, get the hell out of here. Steal the first horse I come across and ride until dawn, far, far away from here. I was thinking. Here, take this. Show it to those cutthroat bastards and tell them you found it on me. I should convince them. Especially when they hear about the outcry here after the fires found out we've gone. Your lucky die. There we got it. In a manner of speaking, I hope it brings you more luck than it brought me. Thank you. Thank you for letting me live, Brother Gregor. My name's Henry. All right, Brother Henry. May God be with you. He made it. Okay, um, I got a room. I got a room, uh, right down. How the hell do we get out from around this place? Go back. Ah, yeah. go get dressed in normal clothes. Get our shit back on. So we all squared away here. I was so freaking poor, man. In there. I, I literally had no money. <laughs> that was all the gross shit I had. Alright. So let's grab our weapons. Grab some torch. Go ahead and grab our armor. This, this, save your snaps, take those. Where's my money at? Where's my money at? All right, let's grab the bandages. There it is. There's our money. Grab our lock picks.
Okay, I will keep this one on. Put those on. Okay. Grab my chain mail. Keep that on us for now. Where the hell's my uh There it is. Throw out my chain mail and I think I can wear a coat a little head pad too. This Yep. Awesome. Now we're good to go. There we are, finally back in our armor. Uh, I got something I want to check out really quick. Before we, uh... Head out. Yeah. So now we just gotta go meet up with the guys in the woods. Um, but before that, I got some business. I got some business we need to take care of. I got my helmet. It's in my inventory. I'm just not wearing it right now. Dude, let me up the bank, bro. He'll still be on this earth. Oh, 
On sight, bro. On sight. Hey, you. Halt. Surrender. Mr. Violet. I play Assassin's Creed, motherfucker. We know how to go. There it is. There it is. Did you guys understand? That needed to happen? Ryan, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it, brother. He absolutely disrespected me. You know? Good thing about leaves, they regrow. <laughs> we decided to take care of business, guys. He absolutely was... What was the last thing he said to me? About my freaking writing? Like, I tried my hardest, okay? Okay. Just because I'm not fluent in freaking Latin. Like, it was uncalled for. He didn't have to talk to me like that. He's like, Can you read at all? Do you even English, bro? He had it coming. And and on top of that, he wouldn't let us get the... He was just... A, a, he, I don't know. He, he was just not very nice. Like, he wouldn't even let people read the books. The forbidden books. Now they don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, I just gave them free access to all the forbidden books. <laughs> Honestly, that was for the greater good. For the greater good. Okay. So we're going to sleep. Wake up first thing in the morning. We're going to head out on our mission. Link up with that group. If you left something important in the possession of a corpse, you can find it in the trunk at the red tie. Oh, okay. All right, start of a new day. Turning over a new leaf. <sighs> you know, that breath of fresh air. I'm pretty sure this air probably smells so fresh. Do you imagine? Guy, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. All right. We've got to head up right over here, I believe. We can cross here. 
I want to say. Let's go find out. Yeah. My leaf exists. We just turned over a new one right now. Look at all these leaves. You know, we're like... We're like this group of trees, all right? We got this many leaves. And imagine if we can... Each leaf has like two sides. So imagine we have this many leaves and we could turn each leaf over one time. That, that, that's, that's a lot. We got a lot of leaves. I believe we can go this way. Yeah. How, how's that for for new channel merch, guys? We're gonna have we're gonna have T-shirts. We'll, we'll make T-shirts and hoodies with with, with <laughs> turning over a new leaf. We, we gotta find a good logo for turning over a new leaf. If, horse, listen, dude. If you don't figure out how to do this, welcome to the family, son. Red, because he disrespected me when I was in the church, man. John Miller, I did not see your message, brother, but thank you so much for the three months, man. How you doing today? Mm, it's too deep here. Oh, what the fuck, bro? This looks relatively shallow. Oh, we just got the Savage perk active. Oh, he had it coming, John. He had it coming. He, he, he made my time in prison the worst. <laughs> yeah. he, he thought he was a tough guy, you know, the whole time I was in there. He talked down to me, disrespected me. He stole my, he was taking my rations. Definitely a swamp. This looks like the place they were talking about. Of course it's raining. Ooh, somebody behind us over there. You seen him? Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Do you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business.
We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? I did, bro. Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? I dragged it away and buried it. That must have been quite a job. True, it wasn't easy. But if I'd left the corpse, they'd know for sure I was the killer. This way, they just lost a couple of novices. Or do you think it would have been better to leave the body there? Nah. I just have to make sure you did what was needed. Not even a mouse can get into that damn monastery. So I'm no choice but to trust you. And do you trust me? Yeah. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Now I get to be a bandit? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sassau. And on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. Okay. There it is. Should I... Re so should I report to Sir Radzig? Or should I go straight to the bandit camp and just live that life as a bandit? So it's like, should I... Um, should I go to Sir Radzig... Or should I go to the bandit camp first? I don't know. I feel like if I go to a bandit camp first, at least I'll have information to bring him. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If I... If I So I feel like if I go, if I go here, they're going to be like, oh, what did you learn? I'm like, oh, nothing yet. And they're like, well, go to the bandit camp and find out. So yeah, we'll go to the bandit camp first. Screw it. So at least now when we go to meet up with Sir Radzik, we'll have information for him. We're going to be uh, proactive. Let's see, where does the road lead?
You could have found out the 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 camp and avoided all the quests. Really? That's the crazy thing about this game is how many different ways there are to just go about doing something. I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, I could have asked around town and done investigations and avoided going into the monastery at all. Deep as hell, man. I just hope nobody here like recognizes me from that uh well I All right. I don't know what the hell that was, guys. I literally was just sitting here. My uh, my internet was just. I was like sitting here and I was talking. And I looked over, and uh, it said that my chat disconnected. I was like, oh, so I thought I had to just refresh. And then I realized I had absolutely no internet. My internet was just out, uh, which is really weird. So, uh, but I got I got it taken care of. Unfortunately, I had to completely uh, reset my whole fucking system. Trying to fix my camera here. All right. Can you, can you guys hear me? I don't know why it keeps... Uh, it says I have exit connection. Like... Legit, excellent connection. I have no errors on my stream side, but yet you guys are getting lag. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a, YouTube might just be having one of its situations. Uh, it happens from time to time. YouTube will just literally shit the bed. Uh, so I don't know what the hell's going on. And I want to thank you guys for almost 150 likes. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Like I said, this shit happens sometimes. Uh, Kind of just a part of downside to live stream compared to videos. When when you have technical difficulties in uh in videos, you just uh, yeah. I'm I'm trying to get my my camera ki the freaking autofocus reset. It's so annoying. So right as I was pulling up to the damn uh that could be it. It's pulling right up to the fort too. We lost I lost a lot of health, guys. I fell. Uh lost a lot of health. So we'll let this marigold potion run its run its course and then we'll pop another one. Yeah, I think I ate. Well, actually, our nourishment is really low. Eat this. Maybe the camp will have some food for us, too. Warning, entering. So. Okay. This place is so dope.
What is this? What do you want? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Aye. All right. Welcome to Vrant, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. That was easy. Now I'd better take a look around here. So we're just doing some scouting. Yeah, some of these guys got some freaking armor, man. Pretty decent walls here. If we had some like catapults or whatever, they didn't have catapults and shit at this time yeah. in this era. Get, like, what else is a lot of, lot of men here. Holy crap! Dead. I, did, I literally didn't even do anything, dude. That was easy. Now I'd better take a look around here. Got a lot of men here, though. There's a lot of tents set Not up. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones, too. This isn't good news. We go ahead and throw... Another one of these in me. So it's a double... Be double layer. Are. Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Ooh. Go to our combat master, Vanya. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just uh. go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. Are you, are you guys sure you want me to... So they want me to go show their combat master that I know how to fight. I'm going to whoop his ass. They're going to... After this fight, they're going to make us the new combat master. Like, come on, dude. Hey, Tyler, thank you so much for hanging out, brother. Those tents look pretty impressive. These fellows aren't paupers, that's for sure. Here, the combat master. Are you combat master Vanek? Hi, <laughs> that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. 
Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. Wait, this is the dude that taught me in Skelets. Yes, you taught me sword fighting in Skelets. Wait now. Filth and Yes, I do remember. You met at the alehouse. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. I took to my heels before it even started. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Yeah. I mean, he doesn't really have much armor on, so All right. I'll just fight with my let's sword. See what you're made of. Uh, we're gonna beat him in a couple seconds, for sure. <laughs> Fucker! <laughs> Way off! <laughs> Ooh, nice. Come on, dude, you got it. You're supposed to be the combat master, bro. Most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak is past it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, Take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. There it is. So what did he teach me? Sir, may I? What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feelings mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him, and I expect he's looking for this. Am I right, young man? You bastard. <laughs> Yo. We fucked up, guys. We should have went and told Radzik. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father 
your real father is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. What? Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you, and I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <laughs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. <laughs> when he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine, and I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg or Sir Hinek, the dry devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. <laughs> and let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners <laughs> into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. <laughs> Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brute really worked you over. What's that? Here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? Zbyszek, you fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. So do you want my help or not? This is the guy we met in uh, Skelets. He's the one that... uh. I think we took the shovel from him. What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Hey. Shouldn't I? 
even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start, but this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. But, no. Wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. Shit. So I gotta leave all my stuff behind? Hey, Violet, thank you for the sub. What the hell? All right, then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me, too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all. Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. Jesus Christ. He took everything from me. Even my money, dude. Our health is super low. Did go out, go left, right? What's that? Well, then that, that didn't last very long. Mother of God. Well, now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. Come on, you shit. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. That didn't last very long. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're literally caught instantly. I can't see shit, man.
Dude. I'm along the wall here. Welcome to the family. Jerry with the <laughs> nine one muds, dude. How to climb up this? You can't climb up this. Oh. Fuck. What's that? Who's there? Hey. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Come here, Lily Liver. Hey! Hey, who's there? What have we got here? It's entertainment. Great! Is that the best you can do? The fuck, man? I keep getting stuck on the goddamn steel bushes, bro. These trees are so annoying, dude. I was following the wrong objective marker. Yeah, let me see here. Try and get my equipment back. Oh, so I can't, I, I don't got a lock pick though. That's the only issue. So I got to make it out of this area and down here to A. Okay. Now, I would be able to try to get my shit back if I could get a fucking lockpick, though, because the door is locked. Yep, he wasn't having that. He wasn't having it. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <clears throat> why? Why couldn't I get him? Why? Why couldn't I get him? I literally snuck on up on him, tried to knock him out, and it was just like, nope.
I figured, oh, I'll, I'll choke him out. Maybe I could put his armor on. You know what I mean? Terry, brother, what the super chat? Hey, get that good sleep, brother. I mean, I appreciate you coming and hanging out, dude. Seriously, man. Thank you. Fuck, dude. This shit is fucking hard, dude. Like, stealth in this game is just... It, it, it's so hard to pull off. I tried to open Eric's door. It's locked. I don't, and I don't have any lock pick, lock picks. So I'm all the way up against the wall here. Uh. I think I'm over. Are we over? Okay, we're over. Now we just got to follow this wall down. To this point here. Hopefully we don't get spotted by the... Dude patrolling the fence. These fucking bushes, man, are the worst. Like, how are you supposed to be sneaking through the bush, man, and, and they're steel bushes? Getting close. Up, 
So I think I got to go out right, right where those two guys were standing, right? The only way is to just run through them and jump. Yeah, I'm all about that life. Yeah, become one with the shadows. Fucking are no shadows, man. Everybody in this game, man, the NPCs have literally, they can see everything. Somebody said there was a chest in here, but I literally, it's so dark, I can't see shit. Oh, found a chest. Ooh, got a lockpick. Hunting sword and some bandages. I could probably... If 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 I could 1v1 with the sword, I would. We're going to wait for the guard to make his way back down and we'll go pick the lock. stuff's in here. even have to pick the lock freaking or is this for this trunk Let's see what else I got going there we'll take that bow take the brew take the groshin take that raven's beak wow that's a really good uh blunt weapon i think that's better than what we have Let me see. Raven's Beak. Oh, no. The Bayless Mace is still better. I think it's going to be a little harder for me to sneak now, isn't it? Well, not that it was easy to sneak before, so. Yeah, I got my, my Marigold Potion healing me up right now. I'm about to pop another one. What if I wear Eric's colors? Do you think that will work, guys? Or what if I put a helmet on? Do you think they'll notice that it's me? Maybe I'll just be able to walk out. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll just be able to walk out this bitch. Try to save right here now that I have all my stuff. I Man, I doubt I'll be able to walk out, but let's see. I just saved, so we'll see what happens. Who's there? What? We 
got here. Entertainment! Great! Don't do it to yourself, bro. Instantly knew it was me. Dude, why can't I block that? So how did he know that I was me? Doesn't matter then uh okay, so we got another point in warfare. That's pretty useful sounding. I'm trying to see what this is. As long as you remain still, it's okay. No. I need some of like these, you know? Golden tongue plus two. Brute, that'd be pretty nice too. There's what two guys over there near the gate? Three there's like yo, there's a whole bunch of guys over there. How the hell do I get out of here then? What's that? Hi. Who's there? Just run to the crack gate and jump. Yeah, we might have to. Can't see. I 
parte. I should have thought about that. I think we're all right. All right, should be getting close to the road. Yep. Got our gear and we escaped. This. Oh, we don't have a horse, do we? I wonder if I could wait till the daytime so I could fucking see. But no, we'll be all right. So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Don't worry, I'll keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. But you'll have to help me. They really took my coin? Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? Actually, I didn't think of that.
Any word about your boy, Radzig? Nothing yet. Let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry! Father? <laughs> I told you he had balls! Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Scalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he? Zbyshek is from Skalitz. He helped me escape captivity and save my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Spishek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this reward. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. And under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. So you'd better get out of here quick before I start thinking about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, my lords. Thanks, Henry. God be with you. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. Now, we have more urgent matters to deal with, hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son.
Yeah, he definitely has daddy issues. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is one in the morning. I got a funeral to go to in the morning. Um, so I got to make sure I, I get up nice and early. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys for hanging out. Almost 200 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for hanging out today. I hope you guys enjoyed the streams. We'll be doing some more tomorrow. Uh, probably do some, maybe do some Red Dead and uh, Assassin's Creed. We'll see. We'll see. But thank you all again. I do appreciate it. If you have it on your way out, smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the content and uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really does help out. And uh, other than that, everybody, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.